<laughs> Realistic fishing. Thank you, man. I love the channel, by the way. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I have a package from Lowbrow Fishing in Mississippi. Let's cut it open, see what's inside, and see if I can catch a fish today. Here's a letter. Let's see what it says. The letter says, hey Alex, thanks for all the great content. I know the fishing can get rough when the weather gets hot. So I figured I'd send you some baits that I hope work well with your style of fishing. I'm sending stick baits, craws, paddle tail worms that I made myself in a grape jelly color. I've had success with them. I hope you can too. I've also included a handmade quarter ounce bladed jig and a 3 8 ounce arky jig I hope you can use these as well. I'm also packing some store-bought baits that I found on clearance because you shouldn't have to be rich to go fishing. Tight lines, Joe from Lowbrow Fishing. All right, let's check it out. Here's that bladed jig he mentioned. Here's some Strike King stuff. Here's that 3 8 ounce Arky jig. We got an Ozark Trail lipless crankbait, Strike King flipping jig, some yum craws, some zoom worms, some more zoom worms. These are fork tails in a funny color called tomato. These look like the hand poured craws here. Some hand poured stick baits. And finally, some hand poured paddle tails. Well, what should we use first? I think we'll go with these stick baits. And we're gonna fish one on a wacky rig. I don't have any rubber bands with me because I wasn't sure what I was going to be fishing with today. So we're going to hook it on right through the worm. We'll see how durable they are. We'll see if we can get a bite. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. All right, I'm gonna toss it out and keep an eye on it. We're gonna see how fast or slow it sinks. All right, it's a slow sink. We'll give it a little bit of extra time to get down there. It's just kind of slowly sinking like this. There's my buddy over there. He's fishing too. Looks like he hasn't caught anything in a while. Looking pretty ragged. Fish, fish. Get out of there. All right. First fish of the day. Nice. Yeah, not bad. We got about a three quarter pound bass here. Got him on the homemade lure sent into the show by lowbrow fishing. I think he said it was his grape jelly color. Yeah, good looking fish here. 
Hopefully we can get a few more just like it, maybe even bigger. Lowbrow fishing, this one's for you. Let's let it go. The most controversial team to hit USWO wrestling, it's Brian Turner of Booty Call, and you are watching Realistic Fishing. Bounce on over to Brian Turner's VHS Rehab for more of Booty Call. Looks like I lost my worm somewhere in there catching that fish, so let's get a new one. Actually, I found it right there on the ground. Yes, there's where it was hooked. Let's hook it somewhere else. Let's see if we can do it again. Caught that fish on the $30 bait caster. 30 bucks. You don't have to go broke spending $200 on a combo just to go catch some bass at the lake. I don't know how many bass I've caught. Probably dozens. Well, it's already raining, but we're gonna do this. So we're back out here tonight, fishing with lures from Lowbrow Fishing, and I got an interesting one. Let's check it out and see if we can get any bass. This is what we're going with this evening. We got a fork tail from Zoom in tomato. A very red, uh-oh. A very red worm here, interesting tail. Gonna fish it on, guess what? A Texas rig. That's it right there. Can we get one this evening in the rain on the tomato fork tail? Let's see. I always like to start out by this dock. High percentage area. Totally worth fishing. The water is a little bit high. We've been having so much rain lately. This is good. Well, nothing on the first cast. There's a few other lures to try if I can't get a bite on this, but I thought this was the most interesting. Interesting color too, tomato. Let's get under this shelter. We'll do a little fishing from under here. Deja vu. This is just like last time I was here. All right, we're about to switch off a tomato. I couldn't even get one fish. Is it the lure? We're about to find out because we're going with something else. Hi, this is Debbie. I'm in Cat Spring, Texas. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. We're changing it up. We're going with the Spine Craw from Yum. Looks like black and blue. If they don't want a red worm, we're going to go the other way with it and try a black and blue craw. Let's go with that. We're gonna start over again at the dock, work the same area. The rain has let up a little bit. Let's keep going. Craw versus worm, let's see what happens.
fish. All right. All right, first fish of the evening right here. Looks like he's been caught before. His lip is a little bit red. Nice little bass here. Got him on that spine craw. I think it's clear they would rather go for a craw than a worm right now. They'd rather go for black and blue over red. First fish, one more look. Yeah, not too bad. Let's let him go. Still got my lure. Let's get it fixed up. There we go. Still fishable. Let's see if we can do it again. Since there's no one else here today, we're going to adventure on this way for a little while. I usually go the other way to the point, but since the water's a little bit higher, we're going to do some exploring. My name's Emma. Always keep it realistic. fish. All right, a little quarter pounder. Here we go, fish number two. We got a quarter pounder. Got him on that spine craw. Yeah, nice little fish here. Aggressive. Went for a big bait when you compare body sizes. Let's let him go. Still got my lure. Let's keep fishing. <laughs> 